Right 81 over root 3 has a power of 3. It wants 81 over 3 to be 3 to the power of something in this box. Any idea how we go about doing that? 81 changes into? How many, how many trees will multiply to give you 81? 3 multiplied by 3, that's 2 of them. Four. That's 3 of them. That's 4 of them. So 3 to the power of 4. What about root 3? 3 to the power of 1 over 2. Square root sign automatically means a half. Now finally, take away the powers from each other because you're dividing. 4 minus a half? Uh, four, five, 5 over 2. Uh, 7 over 2. Okay. I get that. Uh, well, calculator for 1. Okay. Uh, real reason is 4 is the same thing as 8 halves. 8 halves minus 1 half is 7 halves. Because 4 is 8 halves. Okay, yeah. so four, uh, everybody happy with 7 over 2? Yeah. Yeah. Any questions specifically on it, James? What part? So guys, uh, we know that this is now 3 to the power of 7 over 2. Okay? Now, it wants us to solve this. 9 to the power of x plus 1 equals 81 over root 3. What can we change 81 over root 3 into? Okay. Now that's a three and that's a nine. What do we need to do to the nine? Three squared. Okay. What's the rule on the left hand side? Then what do you get? Three Now, I'm going to show you two ways how to do this. Okay. Way number one. 2x plus 2 equals 7 over 2. You happy enough with that? Bring over the 2 and take it away. What's 7 over 2 minus 2? Anybody? 7. 3 over 2. 3 over 2 divided by another 2? Three over two divided by two. Three over four. You basically multiply this two by this two down here. And you get three over four. Method number two. Put a two underneath and a two above. Do you got it? Yeah. Multiply it out and you get four x plus four equals 7. The 2's cancel. Bring over the 4. 4x four equals 3x equals 3 over 4. Same thing. Two different ways of doing it. Is that right? Yeah. One of them's more calculator based. The other one's you'd probably do it all in your head. Okay, that's probably the difference. Okay. Now, number 11. Anybody want to tell me how to go about doing this one? What's 27 as a power of 3? Good man. No, no, 3 to the power of 3, James, right the first time. What's root 3, James? Um, 3 power half. Okay. What happens when you divide one power by the other power? There's a rule for that. Remember I said 4 to the power of 7 over 4 to the power of 4, what's the answer there? The answer is 4 to the power of 3. You take 7 minus 4, so this is no different. What you need to do to the top to the bottom? Uh, 3 minus a half. 3 minus a half will get you? Uh, 2 half. Which is the same thing as 5 over 2. two. <coughs> now what can you do with this question here now lads? What can you do? 3 to the power of 2x plus 1. Instead of this part here, what can you put in? 3, uh, 5 over 2. Uh, 5 over 2, yeah. Then what you do after that? Cancel 3. No, not yet. <coughs> this power and this power, what do they need to do together? Come on, guys, everybody knows this. Multiply. You multiply them. 3 times 5 over 2, anybody? 
You only multiply top by top. So the answer should be what? 15. Should be 15 over 2. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, somebody suggest a way to finish this off now. Anybody? 2x plus 1 equals 15 over 2. Multiply by 2. Divide by 2. And what you get? I uh, cross 2 times and then you get uh, 4x plus 2. Equals 15. 4x equals? 15 minus 2, which is 13. 15 minus 2, which is 13x equals? Uh, How'd you write the difficulty? They're a bit harder than what you are doing, right? But they're still very, very doable. Okay. Yeah. Last one. 14. The big one. 14 is tough. Anybody tell me what to do with 16? 16 has a power of 2. Uh, 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4. How many 2's multiply by each other to give you 16? Part 2. 2 or 2, anybody? 2 to the power of 1 multiply by 2 to the power of a half. And what happens when they're both beside each other like that? You add them and you get 3 over 2. You just do 1 plus a half. The same thing as one and a half, but one and a half is the same thing as three over two. Yes, James. Uh, any number, whether it be five, five is five to the power of one. Ten on its own is ten to the power of one. So if there's no specific power, it's always one. You have to add one plus a half and get to three over two. You have to add the powers. So this one, James, as an example, 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5. What's the answer for that one? Um, 2 to the power of 9. Yes, so you added them. So you add 1 and a half together to get 1 and a half. And you don't do it. You're just saying you don't have to add numbers. You just add the powers. So you just add the powers. Yes. 1 plus a half is 1 and a half, which is 3 over 2. Okay. Now let's... We now have to hence do this equation here, so any ideas how to go about doing this? 2 to the power of 2x minus 1. What can we change? Uh, we need to change these two parts in here. Any, any ideas how to change those two parts? 2 to the power of 4 on top. 2 to the power of? 3 over 2 on the bottom. To the power of 3. You have two ways of doing this. Let me show you the two ways of doing this. Method number one, I'm just going to split this up into two different parts, okay? Method number one, 4 minus 3 over 2 is what, guys? Take away the powers. Uh, should be 5 over 2, I think. 4 minus 3 over 2? 5 over 2. Now you have 2 to the power of? 5 over 2. What's 2 to the power of 5 over 2? 2 to the power of 3? 2 to the power of? 15 over 2. That's one way of doing it. You did what was in the brackets first, and then you multiply, and then you used the power of 3 afterwards. Does that make sense? Yeah. Step number 2. Distribute the 3 over both of them. So it's basically 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 3. Now what happens now? What's on top? 2 to the power of? 4 multiplied by 3? Multiply by 3? 12. What's on the bottom? 3 multiplied by 3 over 2? Now what's 12 minus 9 over 2? Sorry? The answer is 15 over 2. So is it? 12 minus 9 over 2? Now, you shouldn't be saying that because 12 is the same thing as 24 over 2. 12 is 24 halves. 24 halves minus 9 halves? 15 halves. Is that right? We got both answers for the two different methods. Is that right? You should be able to do it either way. Now, that's done. 
What you're going to finally get next is uh, 2 to the power of 2x minus 1 equals 15 over 2. 2x minus 1 equals 15 over 2. I'm going to bring over the 1. 2x equals 13 over 2. x equals 13 over 4. Okay, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Wait a second. Oh, wait, plus one, you're right. Sorry, one second, guys. It's 17 over 2. Excuse me. 17 over 2, which is the same thing down as 17 over 4. For tonight's homework, I want you to do questions 10 to, 10 to 14. I know.